Hey, what's going on? This is Ben Zinn with NextLevelGuitar.com. Thanks for joining us today, bringing you another Inspired by Lesson. And uh, today we're going to look at the style of a jam band guitarist uh, who does some really cool things with arpeggios. Uh, kind of creates a nice line just out of playing the arpeggio. So without further ado, let's check out some examples. Here is our moment, everyone. Before we continue on, please take a look at the text box below. Click on the link in this YouTube text box, and we are going to send you a free video lesson and a coinciding ebook that's not available on YouTube, exclusively available only through nextlevelguitar.com. It's free information, a lot of good stuff, so please click on that link and we'll continue on. Okay, arpeggios, like we talked about. Today we're gonna to take a look at uh, some examples of combining these arpeggios together to create a musical sounding line, nice flowing sounding line that we can go through a set of chord changes. Uh, before we break down the arpeggios uh, individually, let's take a look at first the chords that they're based off of. We'll show you the progression that the intro was based on, and then we'll take a look at the arpeggios. So, first chord, I'm playing a G, like so. Next chord in my sequence was an E minor. followed by an A. Then to a D. You'll notice some of these chords are maybe not some of the traditional shapes that you're used to playing, but the nice thing about these shapes is that it allows us to stay all in one position so that later on when we're playing through these arpeggios we're not having to shift across the neck a whole bunch. So maybe some new chord shapes but this will all tie together nicely when we're playing through uh, one note at a time. So from our D we're going to come back to the original G, this shape here. Then we're going to a C Then to a B. And we resolve that whole thing back to our first chord from the beginning, the G. So now if I were to strum through that progression, uh, just so we can hear everything kind of one after the other, we'd have something like this. Nothing too fancy about that chord progression, just a series of uh, major and minor chords. But when we arpeggiate them or play the notes of the chord one at a time, it gives us a different sort of quality or a different sound. Not better or, or worse, you know, it's just different. And that's kind of what we're all about is exploring the options uh, with new things that we're learning on the guitar. So let's back up right to the beginning uh, with that G chord and take a look at how the arpeggios will work out when we string them together. Starting with a G, I'm going to open my musical phrase here by just going up and down this arpeggio to sort of establish uh, the root, sort of establish home base. There's my arpeggio, let's break that down a little further. we'll play that a few times just to establish the nice solid foundation of that key, the key of G, uh, right at the beginning before we play through the rest of the chords. Now we've got that 
that sound in our ears will start to transition through some of the other chords. Next in our list was E minor. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go up the E minor arpeggio. Take this nice and slow. Here it is once more. What we're going to do now is go down the A major arpeggio. sounding phrase by going up one, up the E minor, down the A. That leads us very nicely uh, into our next chord. So essentially, we're stating those two chords, the E minor and the A. By playing those chord scales or our arpeggios in succession. E minor first. And we're coming back down on the A. That's what this whole process is going to be all about. We're just going to state the chord by playing uh, up and down. Next, we're going to have a D. Revisit this chord. And we're going to play up the arpeggio. Now we're going to a G chord. So we're going to outline this guy here. D. Down the G. Continuing on now, we're going to play over a C and a B. We're going to go up a C. And now with the B. It's going to have some notes that add a little bit more spice or, or tension to the arpeggio but that's really the only one that goes outside of the the form of the arpeggio we're just doing that because we're kind of getting close to the end just going to throw in a little bit of variety there uh, just to spice things up so let's take a look at those again c to b out coming back to my same chord I started with the G okay so we're just going up one chord down another like we talked about let's see what that looks like all together So there we go, a line constructed out of our arpeggios. 
basically we're just playing our chords one note at a time and building a line uh, out of this process. It's something that this particular player in the jam band style likes to do a lot and as you can see it gives you a nice option when you're playing over a progression. So hope you guys learned a lot with today's lesson. I had a lot of fun bringing it to you guys. Uh, make sure you visit us at our website nextlevelguitar.com so much information there for you guys uh, in all styles. Anything that you'd like to learn, we have you covered there. We have 17 billion guitar videos there. Maybe not that many, but uh, I think around 1,100 at last count. So head on over there, nextlevelguitar.com, and I'll see you guys back here next time. Thanks.